Hi, Suffern Central. I'm Dr. Gunderson, and this is the April edition of the Suffern Scoop. Math is having a moment at Suffern Central. Last month, our district was honored to host the 10 County Mathematics Educators Association's annual conference, which brought together teachers, students, and industry leaders for a day dedicated to all the ways math enriches our lives. Many of which are playing out in classrooms every day here at Suffern Central. Here to tell us more are Suffern High School students Eloise Panati and Aiden Bernstein. Eloise and Aiden, take it away. Thanks, Dr. Gunderson. At Suffern High School, solving complex equations is easier when students can apply those skills to real life situations. Like our AP statistics students who use the chi-square analysis, a test that is used to compare observed counts with expected counts to determine what proportion of each color of M&Ms is in a typical bag. Let's see what they found. We are sorting the uh, mini M&Ms in plates based on their color and then we determine how accurate the M&Ms company, their claim of distribution, per color, we're seeing if that's true. I love AP Statistics because we're learning math in school that we are able to use for the rest of our lives in real world applications. Suffern High School's Math Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, meets monthly to play math inspired games that are not only fun, but challenging. Recently, they used the Caesar Shift Cipher to decode secret messages. I really enjoy being in Mu Alpha Theta because it's a way for me to express my passion for math and develop activities so that I can teach classmates and underclassmen about all the really cool things that you can do with mathematics, ranging from pi to Euler's number, even to problems like computer science and fields like business. This Honor Society is a really great way to show all the versatility that math has as a field and all the different even career options that you can explore with mathematics. And both the high school and the middle school use a learning technique called Around the Room, where students travel from station to station in groups and work together to solve math equations or review for tests. When we visited an eighth grade class at Suffern Middle School, students were prepping for an upcoming test on parallel lines and angle relationships. We're working in groups to just like review what we've learned the past few weeks. I like math because it helps me think outside the box. Teamwork is a common theme at the middle school. Kahoot is a popular online math game that recently launched a team mode, allowing students to play against one another in groups. The competition was fierce in seventh grade as students raced against the clock to solve proportional reasoning word problems. Today in class we did a Kahoot about proportions. Kahoot is basically like a fast-paced trivia game. There's points involved and if you can answer quickly enough you can be first on late board. And at the elementary level, math is an interactive and sensory experience as we observed when we stopped by a fifth grade class who were practicing their decimal multiplication skills helping each other review their multiplication and division facts, and using cubes to visualize how volume works. Today in math, we played three different games. One was to find the volume of different shapes, another one was multiplication and division game, and the third one was multiplying decimals. And finally, congratulations to R.P. Connor's second graders, Reese, Avery, and Benjamin, who were winners in NYSED's first in math competition, which tests fluency and computational skills. The trio not only won $1,000 for their school, but they're headed to Albany in June for the finals. Last year, Mateo, Sam, and Anthony, also from R.P. Connor, made it to the finals, so they came by to give the current winners some pointers. And that's a wrap on the Suffering Scoop. See you soon, Suffering. Together we are one Suffering!